Hey, how are you? Good to see you. What can we get for you? For me, bread making tells the story of family. Five whole dollars, please. Tells the story of love. This is my grandmother's recipe from the village in Greece. My name is Tassos, and I'm known as Houston's Bread Man. I get to share my breads with the entire city of Houston. What do you have? We're just bringing bread to the community. I have white sourdoughs, which are these two here. Okay. These are a whole grain. A lot of people have lost their jobs, their livelihoods. Uh, some people will even lose their businesses. That's what I have. Let's take real artisan breads to the community and to the neighbors, especially in this time of need. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you all for coming out. So we're selling everything, no matter what it is, for $5. $5, sir. It's the right thing to do, frankly. We're all humans. We're all in this together. My parents immigrated here from Greece, and out of necessity, my parents had to make bread at home. So when I was 10 years old, I was attached to my mother in the kitchen. I loved the idea of being in there with my hands in the dough, helping my mom, shaping doughs, knowing that I contributed to the family meal. And we did it religiously every week. In the summers, when it was affordable, we would fly back and spend our summers in Greece visiting my grandparents, just like my mom and I did. Yeah, yeah, and I, of course, made bread every week in the kitchen uh, at our house in Greece. This is the first bread I learned how to make when I was 10. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our water. So I started replicating my mother's and my grandmother's recipes out of my home kitchen. So this is where it gets messy and fun for me. My son's preschool teacher, she started immediately asking me to purchase bread. So she was technically my very first customer and she was gifting them to other teachers at the school and other neighbors. And then from there, they all started contacting me directly. I literally hit the streets with bread in hand and knocking on the back of, of kitchen doors at restaurants. There you go. This is my grandmother's recipe from Greece. So I think you'll love these today. We are in about 43 restaurants and hotels across the city. We we'll like to dust the bowls with a little flour to give it a little rustic look. It's a very tedious process. It's a process that commands respect. And so for me, it's very important that I inspect every loaf that leaves that morning that goes out. And so I'm here early in the morning and I'm making sure that everything looks the part, tastes the part. So this is not burnt bread. This is caramelized sugars. They're natural sugars in the bread itself, in the yeast. Bread is community. I've seen people come together here over our breads. Tell your wife I said thanks. Yeah. Uh, this is the time that we have to take care of our own. We got some bagels and some uh, white sourdough. Two whites and two two of these. We're here at White Elm Cafe Bakery at 14079 Memorial Drive. Hey, how are you? We're gonna keep this up every day. We're gonna take it day by day and try to do this as often as we can until we can't anymore. Thank you so much. I'm a wine distributor. I know certain places will not survive this shutdown. I have no business. Anyone that is in the hospitality industry that has been impacted by the shutdown, we're gonna give you a loaf of bread to take home to your families to enjoy. Appreciate it. <laughs> I, I hate it, it breaks my heart. You're all set to go, man. Say hi to the family for me. Right, thanks a lot. Okay, bud. Do you wanna know where we're gonna be and when? Follow us on Instagram at at breadmanco, at breadmanco, and we do daily posts. We're doing another pop-up today. And like I said, we'll continue to do this as long as we can. Thank you. All right. We just gotta do our part and help the community. Good to see you. What can I get for you? Thank you.